This episode of today's iconic moment in New York sports history is presented by Tri-State Cadillac Dealers. April 11th, 1962, the New York Mets played their first game in franchise history. The game was played on the road against the St. Louis Cardinals at Bush Stadium, and the Mets fell behind early, first two to nothing, and then five to two. They managed to narrow the deficit to one run, but they lost to the Cardinals 11 to four. Gil Hodges and Charlie Neal homered for the Mets in that first game, and Roger Craig was on the mound, striking out one and allowing eight hits and five runs over three innings pitched. The two days later, the Mets would play their first home game at New York's Polo Grounds against the Pittsburgh Pirates. It was a 4-3 loss. The Mets would actually lose their first nine games of the season, recording their first victory on April 23rd against the Pirates. Under manager Casey Stengel, the Mets would finish the 1962 season with a record of 40 and 120, finishing 10th in the National League. Now, 120 is the most losses by any MLB team since the 1899 Cleveland Spiders. And despite their on-the-field performance, the Mets were still able to draw over 900,000 fans that season. The team would spend two seasons at the Polo Grounds before moving to Shea Stadium, where they'd play until 2008. Since 2009, they've played at City Field in Queens, right next to the site where Shea Stadium once stood. The Mets were founded in 1962 to replace New York's two departed National League teams, the Brooklyn Dodgers and the New York Giants. Their blue and orange team colors are meant to represent the blue of the Dodgers and the orange of the Giants.